Hey guys, it's Ed, and I'm just going to show you what I've been up to the last couple of weeks during the, the quarantine and uh, the work from home. As you can see, I'm wearing PPE, I have a mask and some gloves. This little area in my basement is, is cordoned off with some plastic, and the reason why I have plastic up is because I have a couple of cats, and I really don't want them in this area while I'm uh, working on my uh, 3D printing project. And this project, uh, what I'm doing is I'm 3D printing the printable parts of the face shields that doctors, nurses, personal support workers, and other frontline uh, workers are in desperate need of. So if you can see here, I have three printers going right now. These two printers are printing the headband and the chin piece of the face shield. This printer here is printing these, uh, these flexible rubber straps for the back of the face shield. And um, I have a... Um, I sourced uh, some plastic for the face shield. This is a 0.5 millimeter PET plastic. It's food grade. It's the same plastic as you'll find in uh, uh, many uh, pop bottles. Uh, when I first started, I, I was thinking about using this stuff. This is binder uh, covers, but it's very flimsy. And uh, I just didn't feel comfortable with that. Uh, so I went with the, uh, I went looking around, shopping around, I found a, a, a local supplier who was able to print me, or laser cut, a uh, minimum order of 250 of these, so I purchased those, and uh, I was able to continue on with the project. Um, that being said, three of these printers are working full tilt, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I did initially have four printers going. But this printer, I was only able to print 12 parts before it broke, so that's a shelf now. Um, I have a few rolls of filament. I'm currently printing in white. I have these rolls here. Typically, I get maybe 20. This is a roll right here. This is a full roll of about 20 bands per roll. So I'm hoping I have enough material to uh, fulfill the 250. Um, let me assemble one of these headbands for you just so you can see what I'm up to. So first we grab a band, then we grab one of these face shields. We're gonna peel one section of, of it off. And then to assemble it, you start in the middle, and then you stretch the band. The band is a bit flexible. So you stretch it until it snaps into place. And you do the same on the other side. The other side's gonna be a little bit harder. But you hear it snap, it's in place. Then you peel off the other side of the plastic. You then grab a corresponding chin piece. As you can see, the holes are already made in the plastic for it, and the holes are already here. And you hear it, snaps in place. That part of the head uh, face shield is complete. Now we're going to take care of the bands for the back. There's two sections of the band. There's one with these little nubs on the back. You put them on. Get... It looks like I'm having a bit of a hard time there. I'm just, uh, I'm not. They're, they're flexible. And they stretch and I just need to make them stretch. And then on the other side, the other side has these little holes. And put that on this side and there you have it this is a completed face shield so this face shield has a number of holes in the back and just two nubs so you're able to adjust it for the many many different sizes of heads you can see it's very flexible and it's uh it fits very well so it fits people even with glasses so again i'm hoping to have 250 of these uh finished within the next couple of weeks to donate to our local hospitals and frontline workers that need them so, so, so desperately right now. Um, now I'm going to show you how I package these things. I'm just going to lay this over here. So this is, uh, packaging of course is optional, but it's something I wanted to do. I wanted, I didn't want to just make the bands. I wanted to, to go from start right to finish, right from a roll of filament to the the nurses and doctors hands. You still need to be uh, sanitized, but hospitals do that anyway, but any, any, anything they get um, donated to them. So you grab a band, so 
Open A2. Got an instruction page. Place it on top of a sheet. Put a band on it. Put a sliding tin piece. Two straps. in a bag. I don't put a lot of pressure with the vacuum sealer on it. I just want to seal it enough to grab the pieces inside. And there you have it, a complete face shield kit. Uh, I hope to have all of these packaged by the this weekend and donated to uh, to local hospitals around here. I'm a part of uh, the PPE drive online so I see what hospitals are accepting, what hospitals are asking for these parts and uh, yeah that's what I've been up to. <laughs>